Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tour of uh, first of all what extensions are and also we'll take a look at what are the extensions available for Microsoft Edge browser right now. So this was a request from many viewers that said, well, I don't understand what ex extensions are exactly and never use them. And also there are a few of you that said, what are the extensions available for Edge and what do they do exactly? So think of your web browser as a piece of software that is you know made to go on the internet it's made to show you web pages and the web contents but it is customizable uh, with edge now accepting extensions it's like adding new features to a browser that doesn't have them so um, the extensions are there to add things that might be useful to you but they're not existent right now in the web browser itself. So they're little programs and you know that are just there and running with the browser. The positive side of Edge or of extensions in any browser, of course, adding capabilities that you don't have right now that could be very useful to you. The negative side of extensions, they often slow down your web browser. The more extensions you use, the slower the startup time of your browser and uh, depending on the extensions you use sometimes makes the browser slower to load pages. So what are the extensions right now available for Edge? So as we are um, almost mid-August 2016 uh, what you have is the Amazon Assistant. Basically this is if you are a Amazon a user if you go on Amazon to buy things books and all sorts of you know gizmos Amazon assistant has a few things first it gives you immediate and uh, easy to see prices on pretty much everything you want to buy it will pop up and give you information for example say you want to buy a big screen TV well if you see it on a web page well the Amazon assistant will recognize it and say hey I have this and this is the price we have at Amazon for the same thing so it can actually help you save money if you're an Amazon customer. So it's really tied to the Amazon store. You've got Evernote Web Clipper. The Evernote Web Clipper is basically, think of it as the, um, it's a little bit like OneNote. If you use OneNote, it's the same type of uh, software or, or extension. It's there to help you take notes of things for example uh, clip a web page that you might want to see later or keep for reference uh, text whatever take notes of every kind um, that's pretty much what it is and what it is interesting to do is that if you have Evernote installed on every device everything syncs so what you clip or web page you keep or text or whatever you want to do with it it will show up on all of your devices instantly. You delete from one device, it deletes on all the devices. So it, it's nice for that. Office Online is a way of basically viewing pretty much every type of files everywhere thanks to the Office Online project. And so basically it will give you um, a view and a somewhat um, you know, it's limited, but s somewhat what you need to uh, create and edit Office uh, files like Word, Excel, PowerPoints, OneNotes, and Sway Online without having to install the Office itself. Now, keep in mind it doesn't replace the official Office, but if you're on the go and you need to do a little modification or do a quick Word document, for example, it's great for that. LastPass is a password manager and I'm coming to that by the way because I want to talk about password managers for those that don't know what they are. They are there to make your life simpler. So this uh, LastPass extension is a password manager extension. So it saves your passwords, gives you secure access to uh, from every computer without having to you know deal with the fact that you got to remember complex passwords and all. Adblock, Adblock Plus are um, do the same type of job which is to simply remove ads from web pages and uh, they are there because at some point some people got a little tired of all the ads on the internet 
and so they thought that these were interesting. A lot of people used them. Um, one word of caution I just have to say, and this is you know my own personal take on this. I don't use ad blocks. Uh, I think that web pages should have their fair share of their money because ads pay them. Um, if you do use an ad block, and I can understand why sometimes you might want to, um, just make sure that you know you whitelist the websites that you like so that people get their share of money at least. Um, one of the questions a lot of people ask me is what's the difference between Adblock and Adblock Plus. Basically Adblock is the first one that appeared and uh, it's the most popular one because it's the first one that appeared. Then came Adblock Plus. Now the name is close to the same and people think well Adblock and Adblock Plus are made by the same company it's just that one is better than the other. It's actually pretty much the same thing it's just that it's two different persons, two different companies that actually did the ad blocks. The original ad block is just ad block and the ad block plus is the newer version. Now uh, what's the difference? There aren't really many differences because they use the same core for ad blocking and the same listing. Uh, the only little thing that I've read and uh, that people seem to say is that the ad block sometimes slows down your browser a little more than Adblock Plus. But apart from that, they're pretty much the same thing from two different um, developers, basically. Then you've got Page Analyzer. So this one helps developers improve their website's compatibility. If you are a web creator, website creator, that could be a nice tool to have. Save to Pocket for uh, Edge is the best way to save articles, videos, and more in one place. So um, in a complement to say Evernote, for example, this one adds the capability of not only web pages and text, it also adds possibility of keeping uh, videos, pictures and stuff like that that you might encounter on the web. And you can view it anytime uh, without internet connection. So it kind of downloads it to your device. So if you're, in, for example, you have a tablet and you don't have internet connection somewhere, you can save to pocket different videos and view them later, for example. Microsoft Translator, great app. I've used it and really find it cool. Translates um, into 50 different plus different languages, um, web pages that you will view. You can set a default. So say you only speak English, don't understand any other languages. You can say, well, Every time I visit a page that's not in English, uh, automatically translated works quite well and um, translates, you know, pretty good. Of course, translator's translator. It's not perfect, but it uh, is good enough that um, I think it's useful, especially if you go on pages of different languages. Uh, Reddit Enhancement Sooth. Uh, it's a suite of modules to enhance Reddit browsing experience. If you use Reddit or go on Reddit, website. Um, I'm not sure up to what point what it enhances, but it might probably filter out some stuff. I'd have to use it and give you a little more details when I do. Mouse gestures um, lets you kind of program all sorts of gestures on your mouse to do things on your computer. Uh, you know, like, you know, go far forward or b uh, backwards in the web browsing, uh, stuff like that. Uh, scrolling, of you know, you can change the way you scroll or the way you launch apps and so on. It's uh, made by Microsoft and you can really customize uh, the basic experience uh, with your mouse when you're browsing and so on. OneNote, which is pretty much an equivalent of Evernote, but is made by Microsoft, is by the way included in all versions of Windows 10, which makes it probably the premium uh, note pad basically to use or node clipper. Uh, I use it a lot. It's pretty cool. So basically it's a web clipper. You can save uh, anything on the web to OneNote, have it sync to everything. And uh, it's nice for that because you have all that you use a quick access. And finally, pin it button from Pinterest. Not P interest as I've heard some people say. It's Pinterest. Um, here it says, save creative ideas from around the web 
with the official Pinterest browser button. Uh, it um, when you click the button, when you see something interesting, uh, and it's gonna save it for later. So if you've seen an ID, you've seen you know you just pin it, and it is easy to basically you know check it out later. Uh, it's a little different. It's not like OneNote or Evernote. It's different because it is more of a hey check out this idea kind of thing or check out this point of interest that's why it's called Pinterest um, basically and keep that for easy viewing later instead of you know kind of saving a full article it saves the point of interest so you can view it later and check it out and uh, so it's different from you know OneNote and um, Evernote in that respect so that's pretty much what we have right now and as new extensions come to Edge, I'll uh, sometimes do videos and you know grab a few extensions and explain what they do. And uh, for some extensions, I will probably be posting videos of specific extensions themselves uh, and showing how to use them and how they work. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up. And if you uh, have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. It's always a pleasure to have your feedback.